I think we're locked. All right, I'm starting to see chats come in. Traveling D, Bear in the Garden, Sandra Simpson, good morning. Victoria Morrison, good morning. I went too high on the lights are blown out. Nova Rain's here. Lupta, Germany. Nobody put your name. Too badly. Oh my goodness. That is quiet. James Bondero. It's spring here to stay. I don't know. There might still be a couple of days here where we have some lows in the 30s. But for the most part, I think we're pretty much there. Oh, there's more cars coming in this way than I thought. The thing is, I don't know where most of these cars are coming from. Most of the time, you don't really go up 35th Street between 1st and 2nd, because you're not coming in off the tunnel, you may be coming off the FDR, but it's just a, uh, I don't know, it's not a very, I wouldn't say it's a very good street to choose to drive up on, especially going west, because you have an extra, extra, extra lights that way because of the tunnel exit. All right, sorry, I'm on a uh, tangent. As usual, Robert Sparger, good morning. Matthew Abu, good morning. Lennon Graham, good morning. Sapphire Bluebells, good morning. Oh, I'm in Tokyo, Robert McGraw. Hoshisora. Mel the Bell is here. Social Constructs, here we go. Chris Hickman in the UK, hi. Welcome to New York. Welcome to the big show. That is a pants. Good to see you. Welcome. So bright. Are those normal headlights? Or are those high beams? I don't know. Let's get across fully. Oh, is their garage not even working? That's unfortunate. Where all the cars went. Uh-huh. Mr. Ralph Rosa, hello. Savage over here, good morning. I don't know, I've not changed anything in terms of the setup. There were a couple of areas of extra noise this morning, though, like that garbage truck. Well, who knows? I actually don't have my external mic. I mean, I have it, but I think it's buried in my backpack rather than in my pocket, which is where I prefer to keep it in case we need it. Oh, well, hopefully the rest of the community stays pretty quiet. Empire State Building, its head is in the clouds. Early siege. Hogging here. I'll leave from the rock. Good morning. Philip Maxwell, good morning. LVJ, good morning. Yeah, there haven't been any updates to the firmware or anything else that I'm using, at least compared to last stream. So it's all the same. Who knows? Who knows? Sarge's Deli's there. It's uh, some people like the pastrami sandwiches there better than cats. 
I don't know. I think I, I like the thick cut slices from Cats, but Sarge's is also much closer. To me. So it's nice to have the option. I mean, it's been relatively warm anyway. I think it might actually get a little cooler after today, but nothing winter weather like. Is the light about to change? Look at this, yeah. Fancy cleaner over here. I wonder how long it lasts. There's no way Jason Freeman adjusted his schedule in Chicago to join us. Let's all give some appreciation to Jason Freeman. Unsarcastic. Jar said rain is expected later today. Hey, yesterday was a relatively miserable day in terms of rain. It just kept coming down and it was a mist the other half of the day. So you're always getting wet. And then baby commuter wouldn't keep her rain cover on. So you gotta try to keep your umbrella over her and then you're getting more wet again. It is what it is. Let's find some more things to complain about. That's what I do. Happy go lucky knows. Also good morning. Steve Parker, good morning. Kevin Hawthorne, John Winsboro. Oh, it is our favorite house with a decoration and a message. Have anything going on today? No, it seems like general lights on. really political about it today. Okay. Paul Carney, good morning. Pennsylvania, I don't think they use license plates in the front yet. So that could be changing. I think Jersey for the longest time didn't, but now they are requiring people to put plates in the front. I don't know how enforced it is, but in New York it's always been like that. We're honest here, good morning. I'm not I am not a politics. Am I going to the St. Patrick's Day parade? Maybe. I'm going to try to do what I can. Maybe, Gerard, maybe. MetLife, in full view, not in the clouds. One Vanderbilt slightly, not as much as the Empire. So this are crossing left. Cat Yellow Rangers here. I got two unlimited in my head this morning. I don't know why. 
Their most famous song you might know was played in all the basketball games in the 90s. It might still be. I don't know. I just haven't really watched sports. Uh, get ready for this. Nope, I think that light has already been red. Anyway, upper levels. What else did I miss? Andrew H., Joaquin Moore, Alexander Tootle. RJ has made it in. Let's go on 40th Street. We don't usually go on 40th. Anyway, Grand Central is there right in front of MetLife Building. Let us turn on 40th. Get the 5th Avenue will walk up there. We haven't done that substantially in a little while. It's actually pretty warm right now, I think, right? What night month say? Is it in the upper 40s? Yeah, 47. I'll still sniffle, though. It's below 50. These are my rules. I don't make them. Just follow them. Oh, did I miss something? No, I think we're good. Okay, good. I don't know how Benjamin Prime Steakhouse is. I don't usually go to steakhouses. Like fancy ones. You can make a pretty good sous vide steak yourself, you know? Not that I cook. But if we do... I might even have some frozen pieces of meat. That they don't use to have. In the freezer, well, or else they'd be there frozen, you know? All right, ramble time. Oh, did he, Stefan? I, 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 if it's a super sticker, I, I miss it. Ah, uh, John Winsborough did, sorry. Yeah, and on the stream chat app, it's, I have to let them know to try to capture the super stickers again. The five pound super sticker from John Winsborough or if it's a super chat without words, I think he doesn't know how to pick it up via API. But thank you, John Winsborough, for the super chat. Sorry I missed it. Sorry it took so long to acknowledge it. Uh, yeah, highlight it as much as you can for me when I screw up. Thanks again, John. Uh, Matthew, we don't. We don't. Not my family, but I'm sure people do. Mid Manhattan branch of the New York Public Library. I think Stavros and the Arcos, they call it now, but we used to know it as Mid Manhattan branch. All right, Fifth Avenue. Then there's the Schwarzman Building, which is the famous one with the Lions. If you can stop by there, you know, during business hours, definitely go inside. It's it's quite a library. I think people still unironically study there. They have really big rooms with like old wooden tables, just you can sit there and study. Or do whatever. I don't know if they have stricter rules in terms of computers and click clacking away, but you know, whatever. Ziggy's here on Twitch. Good morning. Welcome back. Let's see what else did I miss. I'm always missing things. Susie Q, Daryl. We're in the garden got spring yesterday. neighbor's dog ate his other neighbor's library card. Or your neighbor's neighbor's library card, you know. 
It's like when you say something silly like, you know, my wife's mother-in-law to refer to your own mother. I was just playing with that. Sorry, all oh, those fiddly fig trees. Ficus, actually ficus trees, not fig trees at all, but they got called that at some point and stuck, I don't know why. I'm not a fiddle leaf fig tree leafologist studier thing. We have uh, the progress of several buildings that we're tracking during our commutes. We didn't come up on the J.P. Morgan Chase HQ today, but we'll see it again soon. I don't know. I heard there's more rain later. We'll see. Yep. Five below across the street again. Not an ice cream store. Uh, more of a glorified dollar store. I do an ESB saunter. I did want to try to stream walking up the stairs to the top floor in the Empire State Building. Maybe with my three cell phone plans, that's possible. I don't know. I'm assuming the staircase is like in the middle of the building where the reception is the absolute worst. Right in the center. But maybe it gets better as you climb. I don't know. Admiral Steve Kelly Loki. Kelly the daughter just after an operation introducing her to the world of me. Well, hopefully I, the recovery is quick and as painless as possible, but definitely hope everything is okay, but welcome. Hope you enjoy my nonsense. Let, let me know if I need to keep things rated PG or maybe even rated G. MM hello. Ambrose Chamber Pot. back after a 37.4 billion mile run. Yep. Adidas, Adidas, whatever you want to say, I say it wrong. Martha, good morning. It's only me, good morning. The car still hasn't turned, maybe because he had a separate light turn and he didn't realize until the end and then just decided he's gonna wait. Unfortunately, Ziggy, all my G-strings are in the uh, in the hamper. What's the other uh, nickname for him? Whale tails. Sorry. Cynthia Beal is here. I feel like it's been a minute. Good to see you. Oh no, I think he did pop in at the end of one of our streams recently, if I remember. I see a truck coming, but I think I can make it. If you heard a big beep, you would have known that I upset the truck, but we made plenty of time to spend. Yeah, 
Action Man, Action Man's been doing a bunch of traveling, right? Which is great. Ah, Lurk. Well, we appreciate you either way. I think the DJI store open. Not that it's open at this hour, but I think it is open up ahead on Fifth Avenue now. I guess we could see if we can see inside. It's very small. Very small. I'm not confident that they actually have a lot of inventory. Maybe the storeroom is really big. But like if they're front and center on Fifth Avenue, I don't know how much they actually can keep on hand. Or if it's more of like a, a showroom and we can order it for you kind of thing. Sax is like all black here for a little bit. I don't know if there's a specific thing there doing. But we also got to take a look at, well, some denim, sparkling stuff, khakis, ice blue. I don't know what this stuff means. And then we got to look at 30 Rock across the street. And then some sort of collaboration with Singapore, perhaps? Interesting. Vacations made in Singapore. Not sure if that's some sort of a collaboration with the travel agencies of Singapore, but there it is. I've never been, but I'd like to go. Tomoko and Yokohama, hello. Christina, uh, Disney was great. Expensive, but great. I wasn't really expecting it, but thankfully we did get a bit of a, a refund on taxes this year, so that'll help cover Disney costs. I mean, I much prefer tax refunds to go into investment or savings, but you know, EDs, what EDs. Yeah, what are the flights to Singapore now? I'm assuming you can't get like a economy class ticket for any lower than like, I don't know, 1500 bucks round trip. That's my guess, I really have no idea. Ziggy was saying on Twitch that it's probably very expensive for those wondering. Did they run? I have no idea. Look at those flower butterfly things. Oh, this whole place is empty now. Huh, I forgot what was here. Was this a gallery? Oh yeah, it's Eden Gallery. I don't know if they're done or if they're just re, uh, re-gallerizing. <laughs> That's the word. And if it's not, we just made it. Lights. We do the Star Wars rides, yes. I don't know if we missed it. We did Smuggler's Run and uh, Rise of the Resistance. Uh, is there another one that we didn't do? Maybe. I didn't build my own lightsaber. I kind of wanted to do it, but I heard it was overrated. Yeah, I think that's like a Nike flagship store. <laughs> Mel Bell, you like the regalorizing? The dude? Top Sean. Top Sean in the shot. Right, right, right. All right, now we gotta wait. This truck's coming. I don't wanna block the path either. Waiting for Vegas and Walk Show. We're not having a Rowl or Swanky Laxer yet. I mean, their cars are moving, but the truck is like inching so much that I don't want to like jump in front of him. Like, he, he's really hoping they clear up so he can move, but I don't want to jump in front of him until until they make a decision. It looks like he's stuck. I mean, the lights, they got one, one second left. Yeah, they're done. Okay. Uh, we, I've done Flight of Passage before, but yes, we did it uh, again. Yeah, I like that one. It's If you really feel like you're actually falling in Flight of Passage, all you gotta do is like look behind you, and then you'll see you're not really going anywhere. You just the, the illusion of the Flight of Passage is, is just done so well. Because you have that giant screen. It's like four stories of 
seats that really just move up and down, left and right. But yeah, it's a fun one. It's good. Oh, Star Tours. Yes, we did Star Tours also. Yes, so we did three Star Wars rides. Yeah, the little uh, legs, the leg area expands like a little rubbery breathing motion. The first time we felt that when we did that years ago, <laughs> it was a little bit startling. Ray Gonzalez, good morning. Traveling Charlie in Santa Monica. Good morning. Did I pass the GI store or is it up ahead? I don't even remember. I might have passed it, didn't even realize. I think I did. It's very small. Oh well. Billionaire's Row, also in the clouds today. We still got a red light, you can see. Okay, just turn green, but plenty of time. We're on the uh, Trump Tower side of the street this time. I didn't really realize they have a bunch of Trump named restaurants, cafe, store, grill, sweets. Anybody tried any of them? Dan Elise here, hello. Louis Vuitton. Not much on the facade at the moment. Don't know if they're gonna do anything else for the seasons. Well, the spring and summer, but I guess we'll see. I'd like to actually see them doing stuff with the side of the building. I've never, never seen that before. Hey, some closer, good morning. Oh, there's Norell. Must have been a long day. Billionaire's Row, as I will poorly explain it to me, is a, well, I'll explain it to you, but to me, it's a, uh, I guess we're not going anywhere. Very expensive apartment buildings, very tall, that really only billionaires would buy and they just parked their money in those units. So most, most of them are like empty, but owned by somebody, some international business mogul that needs a place to uh, park their money. At least that's how I understand it, or at some point read something and interpreted it. Wrong or not, I don't know. But there it is, on 57th Street. Wizard of Business here. The Swanky Lex or Sean then sleeping or squatting the mass equivalent of the earth? Well, wow, that's flooded. No, the whole, there's a whole slew of buildings there. They're all very tall. I don't know exactly how many off the top of my head. Six, maybe. Maybe we'll catch them from, from Central Park, but it's also quite foggy. Foggy is the word. We woke up at 3.30. What did you start doing at 3.30? Did you switch to uh, America time? in advance. <laughs> Yo. Hey, 
to have it. They used to have like a little barricade around this parabolic light art sculpture, which will be here till August 25th. He's downstairs on the sofa, might have fallen asleep. Ah. Uh, I hire billionaires to count my money. I hire them to spit on me and call me poor trash. I couldn't afford that. I saw there's like a longest train ride that you can actually take. I don't know if it's probably with transfers and whatnot, but it's like from Portugal all the way to somewhere in Southeast Asia. So I always thought like Trans-Siberian Railroad was the longest, but maybe that's without transfers? I don't really know. No reason to wake up at uh, 3.30, but you do, did watch Tiny, that crazy Disney lady. We already miss Orlando. Well, Disney anyway, but we didn't really get a chance to do much else in Orlando. Really wanted to try to get to that restaurant, Jay's Crab House, I think it's called. But it had weird hours. I don't know if it's actually closing or not, but it was really good boil food, boil stuff. I think it was owned by, actually, by a Filipino family. So they also had really good uh, uve ice cream that was made in-house. But we didn't have a rental car and didn't really want to Uber everyone around all the time. So we just mainly ate at the parks and the hotel. Time now, 6.37 in the morning. We're in the zoo. Kind of. Oh, did I miss a Almer support? Sorry, if it's a super sticker, I still can't see them. Or a super chat without words. Almer with their generous $20 super chat. Always, always been very generous, watching us for a while, supporting us for a long time as well. So thank you for that. Almer. What a deal. Those are also very small plushies. Yeah, let's see what the sea lions are doing today. See, see what the sea lions are doing today. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see them on the rocks. Maybe they're getting some exercise. Yeah, I think they're swimming around. The water is all agitated. Teresa, good morning. Oh, yeah, I see them playing. They're Two of them are doing something together. Oh, there's one on the rock in the back. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, oh, that's a scary one. <laughs> Some of those sounds are a little scarier than I was ready for. Uh, Daniel, hello. Bear in the Garden's favorite movie still being played at the theater here. Bear and the Squirrel. Yeah, but I feel like they answered me like saying, don't talk to us ever again. Maki in Japan, hello. Do we get an echo? I don't know, a little bit, a little bit. Children's zoo is on the right here. They have a little petting zoo here, and I think you could feed the, the animals. It's like a little farm animal area. Norell street dogs responded to me. Child likes the animal impressions. You might be in the minority. But that's okay. I 
Yeah, lots of those going around these days. It's reasonable, but you know, keep it, keep at it. No, it's not easy, especially with the, with the climate, tech jobs, especially. Doomy Bear, probably, probably. Dean Slope on my left. Still, uh, still needs to come alive. It'll happen as we get closer to spring. Raza, Raza, good morning. Is that Raja? Morning, either way. Let me know. Oh, there are some speed demons up there on their fast bikes. John Burke, hello. Wondering, Balto is still here. RJ Jones is here. Hello. It's a grand dog. Yeah, Narelle, a prime example of why YouTube should really address that and include the ability to autocomplete people's names on the phone. That's exactly where we need it. Ton of rain yesterday. The park is still uh, is draining out. Still draining out. Let's see a few earthworms out too. It's not too cold for them. Where they get flooded out of their soil homes. I don't know. Karen Williams, hello. YouTube's really got to work on it. Hopefully they are, but you never know. I didn't think you could ride your bike in the, uh, in the mall. But I guess it's so early, nobody cares. But there's Billionaire's Row. You kind of see, it's hard to tell which buildings are very tall because they are in the clouds. But that's in the direction of Billionaire's Row. Now I'll go north. Who that Dave needs those likes to go up to appease him and the rough. Jay Raymond with an ARS 200 super chat from Buenos Aires. Good morning. And thank you for the support as always. That I was able to see. That came up. But thank you. It looks like they're trying to uh, fill in the gaps in some of these trees. What are these elm trees? So this is only going to take, you know, Maybe a hundred years, and they'll look kind of similar in size. Maybe because you know the other trees are already so big. Or POV. Hey, there's crazy Disney lady Tanya joining us this morning from hopefully sunny Orlando and hopefully we'll be streaming at the Disney parks later today definitely check her and the crazy crew Is that what you call them or they call themselves out in uh, her chat later on how many miles every day? It really varies. Tuesdays and Thursdays are less walking, but I still try to get around a little bit, you know. Maybe I'll go a little bit farther to get my lunch if I'm not eating at home or near the office. But on the commuting days, probably hit five miles at least.
Morel's got to sleep just as Tiny comes in. All right, let's see if we... All right, I don't think we've tried going under the area that gives us a lot of streaming. There's always a hiccup under this area by the fountain. And now that I have the... Uh, Actually, let me see. Let me see. Are all three hotspots active at the moment? They might not be. I was noticing some problems with uh, uh not problems, but the battery was very poorly low low charge on one of them. Let's see. Okay, reload that. Spell box remotes. Okay, they're all three active. All three. All three of my streaming devices are plugged in, hotspot wise I mean. So let's find out if two AT&T and one Verizon will, will do it. The next step will be getting the, uh, the cheap T-Mobile hotspot, which is supposed to give you only 30 gigabytes, but then does not completely go away. It goes down to 600 kilobytes a second. Anyway, we'll see. I'm eagerly watching the YouTube feed which is delayed a little bit. Wow, it's actually terrible. Wow, that was worse than ever. Well, not worse than ever, but... It wasn't great. They're doing in sync over there, I right hear. Where's the backstrip? I don't even know. Sometimes they melt together, and I'll get in trouble for that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I lingered too long, or maybe it takes too long to switch. But that always feels like a hot spot. Anti hot spot. <laughs> What? In the crew here, in the workout crew, because they're wearing birthday hats. I think partially it might be the weather today. Yeah, more like a cold spot. I think some of the weather with the cloud cover maybe affecting some of the service too. But still, you know, with two AT&T hotspots and Verizon, and we're still not able to. So, sounds like I gotta add T-Mobile hotspot into the mix. This is the only way to guarantee it. Oh, Charlotte's here, good morning. Yeah, we'll see Norell. On the next stream, hopefully less tired. And that up at 3.30. Honk. Hey, look at those geese ducks. A couple goose ducks, that's what I'll call them. There's a lot of activity today. Dookie. Bow Bridge, how slippery are you? Ooh, a little bit. Collecting dirt. hubbub is about. Sean MacGyver, good morning. Bonk. Florian, hi. Still a very wintry ramble, appearance-wise. 
Lots of bare branches. Sandra T, good morning. Doreen, good morning. Lorna getting a frozen screen? I don't think so. Let me know if things change in terms of like, you know, if we go to weird 8-bit pixel mode though, then I'll, uh, I'll have to adjust for that. Let's go a slightly different way today in the ramble. Push the limits of the service too. Not that we've had any particularly positive results thus far that would trigger me to want to do that, but why not? Yeah, it was quite slippery. Slippery doo -dah. <laughs> Slippery, eh? Doreen, Doreen. Charlene. Sluterbeck, hello. A little bridge here that I wanted to walk over. And some moss. And some water. Are there any, like, frogs in Central Park? That's not a frog. Oh, there's that. Welcome back, Lorna. Oh, it's so muddy, I shouldn't have gone that way. Oh my gosh. Safety first, that's right. A prophylactic wrapper. Yeah, right, so I mean, how come, uh, unless they just get eaten by all the other wildlife here. Oh. Radioactive wildlife. Dr. Richmond having a good time in SoCal. Good morning. Fred, things are well. How are you? Hey, yo, Angie's here. I feel like it's been a hot minute. <clears throat> mm. so good to see you again. I haven't been uh, able to pop on as many daytime streams recently. So I've been missing your lives, too. With yo, Angie representing the Upper West Side. <clears throat> ah. Hope things are gone well. Recovery proceeds. Swimmingly. Are we going to end up at Bethesda? I think we might. Sorry, not Bethesda. Belvedere. Ugh. Use your brain, stupid commuter. Stupid idiot man commuter. Man-child idiot, stupid commuter. Oh, 
And I really want to go up that, that rock, but the slipperiness is anticipated. Vegas Walk Sean has also made it in on the Upper East Side, across the park from Rio Ange. The chat, but welcome. Why, why give me a black screen there? What have I done? Yeah, all my... I blame Biggs and Walk Sean. <sighs> Kidding. Yeah, all my devices are, are fully plugged in. I got all three contributing to uh, internet. <laughs> Biggs and Walk Sean. Defends himself. No, I'm kidding. I should have gone up the rock. Yep. All right, here's the castle. Combined force of Yo and Megas Walk Sean depleted my service. Uh, these trees appear to be doing something. A couple of flowers coming in. What kind of trees are these? What are you? Anyway. Oh, another black screen. What is happening today? Like, the unpredictability. Of it. Remember Biggs and Wong Sean? Like last time when we went to look for Flacco's memorial, he told me that area is terrible service and we we passed it with flying colors. Passed through it. <sighs> so this pond here has uh, some frogs as well. Turtles we have plenty of for sure. I just definitely don't see as many frogs as I do turtles. You can see construction on the new Delacorte Theater over there. They are actively working on it even now. Wow, they work on it before 7 a.m. in the park? That's, um, interesting. Ah, the coyotes of Central Park. Yeah, we, we might be able to identify some cherry blossoms, but we tend to confuse them, or I tend to confuse them for eastern red buds which we've learned on stream tend to bloom first the cherry blossoms in peter cooper are starting to come in though peter cooper village no no loose cable this is very solidly in right now i would also get capture card errors if i looked at the bella box uh, screen Providence, Rhode Island, with coyotes near the Capitol building. Who runs the gift shop here? Who's the, uh... Is it, like, by the park? By the Conservancy? Yeah, somebody let them know that, you know, too bad they're not open right now. This is the one time I would've bought something. But in terms of actually identifying plants and stuff, definitely look into Google Lens. That tends to work pretty well. Um, take a photo, you could run it through Google Lens after, you could actually just run a photo directly into Google Lens from a live camera. So that's also pretty cool. And you can now we also have circle to search on the latest Samsung and Google devices, which is kind of cool too. So you could do it faster on old photos. Now it looks like the uh, relayed the grass here they're not they're not trusting the grass to grow on its own so they're rolling out the carpet so to speak for Central Park Tom Tom good morning 
Belvedere your castle, but it's just not the following home and it's not charged in this observatory. And that's also where they report the weather from, isn't there? Or around here? The moon is here. A glimpse of the theater. Or the construction. Under construction, General. Delacorte. Huh? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Alright, what are some of these flowers down here? There's a few things happening. There are these bell looking flowers. There are these purpley looking flowers. There's some onion looking things over there. Or is that like tulips coming in? Yeah, Ron, I've heard Sifat NYC Walking Show talking about that stuff. He, he enjoys his gardening. Makes sense. Yeah, my mom really loves gardening, too. And by, by extension, that means I used to have to plant all these big trees that she wanted. Dig the hole. Roll it over. Shove it in. Bury it. Eleven species of frog, three species of toad, and eighteen species of salamanders in New York, but not necessarily Central Park. That's a, uh, a different story. I don't know how many are actually like thriving here, apart from those red-eared slider turtles. There are even lizards in New York. There aren't that many. Like six-lined runners, I believe, are one of the lizards that live in New York. We definitely have snakes. You know, garter snakes. You may even catch a rattlesnake or two, uh, depending. Who that Dave rakes year around? All right, let's get across this running path, and then get out of the park. Stay off the grass and mud the best I can. No, but Rain likes the veggie gardening. And in a more rural area, you garden there. Nice. The boat pond used to have crawdads? Huh. What happened to them? They get all eaten up by the overabundance of turtles. Five line skink. I was close. Six line runner. I think that, that I've seen those too, so I don't know. Is can somebody Google six line runner? Is that a um, is that a lizard? <laughs> Debra, good morning. How many species in Times Square? We, we still haven't identified them all yet, Ron. Lizards too, oh boy. Six line runners are commonly found in Georgia and South Carolina, according to Hmm, interesting. Okay, so at least it's a real lizard. At least it's a real lizard. I used to have a pretty good knowledge and identification ability of lizards and bugs. Because before the days of cell phones, uh, I had a lot of nature guides at home, and uh, those are bathroom meeting. And before, if my mom told me she was taking me somewhere on vacation when I was young, I would uh, I would study my little Audubon Society books on what animals are there, wherever we're going, and try to find them. 
Show of hands, which hello? kind of a funny thing to think about, right, her POV? Like, we have the access to all of mankind's knowledge on these little rectangles, but nobody's actually learning anything. Like, that's kind of on people now. We have the ability to learn everything, and now instead we have threats of misinformation, flat earth. It's like, it's like people find new problems that don't exist when things get too comfortable. I don't know. No, or anything about getting a lizard, beard, or dragon. Yeah, those are supposed to be pretty good pets, right? I think they just have to make sure they get the right lighting requirements. I think they all require, like, a UV light uh, for healthy skeletal growth and whatnot. Steve Smith, good morning. Who that did? Maybe, maybe. Victoria read the encyclopedia. Nice. Ah, you have a tortoise. You already have a bunch of the uh, necessary things. That's good. Closures and other things are part of the equation. Anyway, Pizzeria Uno. The best of Chicago in New York City. Seven oh seven, I wonder if I can go let's go a little more west today. Rather than Amps uh rather than Columbus. I never imagined such quick global interaction 30 years ago. Yeah, we've advanced in so many ways. In other ways, we've stagnated, if not gone backwards. The florist here set up this cool little wood carving of a bear, and I guess a little painting behind it for photo ops. It's kind of fun. If you're at the museum and uh, you're not able to get a place to eat, American Museum of Natural History over there, this flame hibachi grill is pretty good. Like, it's usually not very crowded, so you can get a decently sized party in there, and they're kid-friendly. They do the whole hibachi thing with the show if you really want, or you can just get a regular table. And they have sushi, too, which wasn't bad. Yeah, you know, it's like, um, humans. Oh, another black screen? What is going on today? Vegas Wong Sean. Vegas Wong Sean. Vegas Wong Sean. All three are still connected. We never really go up this block, though, so I don't know. Still, though, we have three phones. Or three devices. I'm not sure what's going on. It's a roving mattress stores. This little BMW. Is it electric? No, I don't think so. I three. Aha, oh, swipe left, swipe right, old boy left. What a time we live in, huh? I don't 
think it's the pocket right now. I don't know. Maybe it is, but usually I could tell. Like when it was happening before, I was able to see a quick flicker on the pocket screen, and I knew it was going to happen. But I don't know. I did the full factory reset too. Driveway over there. Wait a second. How do you get you can get a spot here? Oh, I gotta cross. Well, that's some surprising amount of cars coming this way. Doesn't this just go right to the park? All right. So, I mean, they only have like less than ten spots here. Oh wow, they even have a Tesla charger at the end. But it's 520 bucks a month for a spot here, and I imagine there's not much in terms of availability. Ah, oh, what is this? Well, there's a possible electrical condition. That's concerning. Possible electrical condition. What? All right, uh, Vegas and Lock Sean. Count towards the press pass. Press pass. Possible electrical condition. Breaking news. I'm just trying to make sure it's clear enough to walk around. This is. I'm oh, sorry. Why does that font look so familiar? Treehouse PDA. It almost looks like the Jurassic Park font or something. Mark, hello. Petrolor. Good morning. John Smith in Northeast Ohio. Hi. Describe the effect it has on traffic and pedestrians. I was forced to go all the way around it. It completely took out 30 seconds out of my day. It's an unacceptable level of inconvenience that I cannot uh, handle. It did look like the Jurassic Park font, nice. It's a server issue. I can tell them all about my Unraid server. Imagine I started to like go in there saying, hey, are you guys having a problem with your Unraid server? I know all about those. Oh yeah, definitely. Victoria needs those likes, it's important. It's imperative to raise the like count, or you will be found by Liam Neeson. Were there any trip hazards? Hmm. I guess if you don't see the cones, you could. And there was no easy way to go around it. I had to go in the street. I had to risk my safety. Oh no! Alright, sorry. Crossing Amsterdam. Oh, what is over there? Construction? I guess that's not the street I'm walking up. Yep. Oh my goodness. Prince Ice, hello. Good morning. Town Poke, I wonder how they are. I feel like we're... Like the Poke hype train has left the station. And there's like a lot less available poke places in uh, in the Kips Bay area. Jacqueline, Jacqueline the Mall, hello? Dalla Mall, sorry. All right, let's walk up the street. Sebastian, good morning. Bad weather tonight again. Oh man. Oh, Montana plates. I 
think I saw that dude. No. I'll have to look it up. Is that an electric BMW? It looks like it might be. Alright, we're on Broadway now. Yep. Bad weather is supposed to start. Bagels along Sean. Broad Nosh Bagels. Review. Nathan Newman, hello. This for crossing. Sign. Looks like they're done though. 1 p.m. until midnight, oh boy. I don't get caught in them later. Like when I don't want to be. I want to be out of it, but I choose to be out of it. This winter over now. Ah! Uh, there's still some room for cold temperatures, but I don't think anything else is going to really happen. Oh yeah, it looks like rain starts around 1 o'clock, according to the Link NYC weather report. Frank the Tank is here. Looks like it's been a hot minute. Welcome back. Good to see you. Ah, how come you didn't review that bagel place because I'm shot? I don't understand. I'm very confused. You have to walk to every bagel place in the city in one day. The bagel saunter. And Nathan Newman's old hood lives in the El Dorado. Fancy. Get my canoe out, Ron. I'll get it out and we'll, uh, we'll have some fun. I don't have a canoe. Mimi's Pizza. It doesn't want to shine your, it's, there's a prime space here. Uh, like, uh, slick duck. Like, uh, you know, Dave Portnoy? One bite pizza reviews? There's a one bite bagel reviews. Opportunity available. Oh, did I miss a super singer? Hold on. Sorry. Ah. Park Avenue, 10 dollars super singer. Thank you, Park Avenue. Sorry. I keep missing these. Shut up. I have to re-highlight that this is still an issue. But thank you for pointing it out. It's not a big deal. Folks probably point it out so we get notified. And I will give you my appreciation. Thank you, Park Avenue, for all your support now and always. Sorry, I keep missing these things. One day, Biggs Long Shot will do it. And just to make it harder on yourself, you can't do it in one bite. You have to eat the entire bagel at every single bagel store. <laughs> you better do a lot of walking. One day. <clears throat> mm. I mean, you, th you think you can eat 50 bagels in a day? Let's try. There's another Ghostbusters movie coming out? Huh. Thanks again, Park Avenue. I feel like most of my work on this is like in the prep. In the prep we do and try to figure out how to make this as smooth as possible. And then we end up running into more problems than, uh, than if we didn't. <laughs> doing it that nonsense. Oh well. Hopefully you enjoy the journey. 
Oh, it's got everyone together? Maybe like a passing of the torch? That should be interesting. Maybe. I haven't like watched the old Ghostbusters in a long time. I should rewatch that. Refresh my oh there's filming going on here. Refresh myself. Wonder what they're filming. Oh, you saw how the Ghostbusters filming turned the orange times last summer <clears throat> during the the fires of Canada. Do not enter this room, this is what the last one said. I still don't know what they're actually filming, though. There's no street signs. That, uh... The other ones I mean? There are no parking signs? Ah, uh, there's a passing of the torch. Got it. Oh, I see some signs. I'm, I'm across the street. Oh, I probably could have made it. It's probably a delay and, uh... Probably a delay that I could have... Yeah, it's still red. Alright, just turn green. The truck's not moving. <clears throat> yeah, the, the whenever a trailer says Lucy and Desi, those are the restrooms. I forget. There's like a, you know, it's a throwback to like, I love Lucy and that stuff, right? Ah, it's Law and Order. What a surprise! Ham hey, Strawberry from Australia. Good morning or evening to you. Grand opening of this barber shop doesn't uh, doesn't help me. Is it Pet Smart or Pet Smart? Ah. Last time I did a fa fast walking commuting video that I recorded, man, it's been a while. Probably what November. <laughs> I should bring those back as we get into spring. Catch some of the, uh, the leaves in Central Park coming in, flowers and whatnot. That should be fun. To capture in 4K. Time? No, it didn't look like it was open yet. It still said now hiring and a bunch of other under construction signs were still there. Hotel across the street, Hotel Loop. Black screen again for five seconds. I don't know what's going on. Ladies and watch on. Are there any um are there any like solar flares or anything today? <laughs> Black screen wants to five minutes away today, yeah, seems like it. I do need to separate out the juice and put that, um, uh, put the hotspot on its own, you know, the, the <clears throat> separate hotspot on its own dedicated power line and just use an Ethernet cable. Maybe that's the, uh, that's the next step. But gosh, it's just getting so messy. I think it's, it's probably that Android phone that I'm using. I wish you can go back to two iPhones. Because I, I had the iPhone SE seems like it's such a, a low power draw, but this Pixel phone is just so uh, so draining. No, my OBS is not overloaded. I highly doubt it. I mean that it's it's on that Mac Mini that I'm running it on, which is doing nothing else right now, and there's no chance my connection is saturated. change the oil. That's the next step.
And I did recently do a reboot of that server too, just to, you know, keep things fresh just in case. But who knows? But not in between the last two streams, so I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, Ron gives us those ideas that we wouldn't normally think about. We need them. Oh, man. I have to wait for those cars, I think. Well, I probably didn't have to, but... I did. Oh, man, he's really taking his time. Those tinted front windows too. Didn't somebody look this place up and say they do have brisket? Even though I couldn't find it on the menu, briefly glancing at it. As long as they have it. Looks like Powerball and Mega Millions are still high. But buy your tickets. I need I need an apartment. Apparently this uh, this this particular kiosk sold a $50,000 Powerball winner in February of 2023. English muffins. The Masked Singer. Isn't that a... Isn't that show from... Ooh, look at that. Is that show from another country? Grand Wagoneer. Mass Singer. Mel the Bell, you're probably better for it. Uh, the likelihood is so low, you're mostly just throwing money away. Rather than actually have any chance of winning. Better just invest it, I think, right? An Oklahoma barbecue. Our juice. Wonder how they are. Has Joanne tried that place? UK does Mass Singer too? Uh huh. Where would I choose to live if we got an apartment and won a lottery to buy? I mean, I like my current area, but I feel like I'd like a place, you know, off Central Park, maybe. Maybe by the Met, by the Metropolitan Museum of Art, because that has a really good school district, too. Metro Diner. Hands good morning. Yeah, Ron, that's how you know you won for sure. Florian says lottery is a tax we don't understand stats. <laughs> <clears throat> Point five million bushels of apples annually in New York State. Pigs and Sean likes that park life. Bloomingdale School of Music. A restaurant called Abigail's. I'm not really sure what kind of cuisine it is. It looks interesting. <clears throat> hmm. 
then our tax guy told us one of his clients got a scratch off a win for life and now just gets a free 53,000 coming in every year just just cuz it's like you hear things like that and that's how you get drawn in it's like wow if someone I know knew someone who got it then I could do it too and then that's how you waste a lot of money Playboy C says the rain is coming yeah, early afternoon supposed to start up, right? Based on what Biggs and Walk Sean said and what the Link NYC weather report said. By Silver Moon Bakery. Where's Gigi? He told us it's a good place. Not to be confused with Cirque du Soleil. Cafe du Soleil. Ten thousand after New York taxes. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But I would say you know, be ready <clears throat> to lose half. <laughs> Not more. Leslie Adams, good morning. We took a trip down Broadway today. Little WB on Twitch. First time chat, it says on my end. Welcome. Let us know if you found us on Twitch or on YouTube. If you found us on Twitch, uh, we're primarily, well, we started off on YouTube, so most of our folks are on YouTube. How many are watching right now on YouTube? Let me check. I have to actually go into the... We're at 500 people on YouTube right now. Tolerating me despite all my service issues. No tax if you win Powerball in Australia. Ooh, I see a Volvo across the street too. Where's Gert? Ah, in the light. What am I doing? Nice. Awesome. I'm glad Twitch's uh, algorithm is somewhat working, or at least that's putting us in the category that we select. That's good. Get inside Strauss Park here. Ron says, not enough likes. Get the likes up. Do it now. Or face the consequences of what Ron says. I'm not saying it. It's Ron. Yes, glad you enjoyed. <clears throat> well, 1099, you also have to pay taxes yourself. Like, they don't take out tax, but you got to make sure you do the right kind of taxes if you're a 1099. Because uh, NEC, I think, just stands for non employee compensation, if I remember correctly. Oh, I didn't know that the ginkgo biloba is also known as the maiden hair tree. I didn't know that was the more colloquial name for it. Ah. Ooh wee! <clears throat> hey, look at these flowers coming in. Should be a nice little flower area here when it when it all blooms. Well, at least this, I wonder how wet these benches are at the moment. Last time, you know, because the wood absorbs water, right? And I think if I sit down on it for too long, it'll, it'll soak into my pants. Yeah, I, I felt it. Hey, 
Anyway, I should probably get to work. Uh, let me just, let me see what's in the uh, in this bulletin area first. I feel like we've never looked at that before. Ah, the story of Strauss Park. That could be pretty fun. It's one of New York City's smallest parks. 0.3 acre jewel is beloved by the Bloomingdale neighborhood and known to visitors from around the world for its beauty, serenity, and history. So it owes its existence to the angled path taken by Bloomingdale Road as it led travelers on foot and horseback from the Dutch settlement in Lower Manhattan to points north. Bloomingdale Road is now Broadway. It cut across the grid imposed by the famous Commissioner's Plan of 1811, resulting in a small triangle of land between 106th and 107th Street. It was known at times as Bloomington, Bloomingdale Square and Schuler Square in honor of Alexander Hamilton's father-in-law, Philip Schuler. No one cared about this tiny sliver so long as the neighborhood remained largely rural, which it did until the beginning of the 20th century. Anyway, here, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you read the rest so I don't... You can probably, hopefully that's legible. Legible? Readable? Anyway, oh, we went 8-bit. Is it still 8-bit? No. Okay. Also, for some reason, the, the pigeons never showed up. I don't know why. They should have showed up. Anyway, here, let me, let me try to highlight that again on stream so that you can hopefully read it later. The bottom parts of it. I stopped reading at that paragraph over there. All right. Yeah, I don't know why the black screen didn't go get to the pigeons. That time it should have been long enough that the pigeons activated. Release the pigeons! Anyway, yeah, thanks again everyone for joining today. Appreciate uh, all your support, just spending time with us. Super Chat, Super Secrets, PayPal, Patreon memberships. Thank you. Not subscribers. Yeah, right, Mel the Bell? Thank you too. Think about subscribing. If you've given me your thumbs, thank you. If you haven't yet, think about it. It's free and easy. May change your algorithm a little bit, you know. But if you like the walking stuff, you might see more than just me. And of course, a big thanks to the mods. All right, so our next planned stream should be this Friday as we head towards the area known as Chinatown, towards Seward Park. If, um, if I'm able to do any streams before, then I'll try. Yes, proper plugs, proper plugs. I never saw the plaque down here. Hmm. Alright. Anyway, thanks again everyone. Oh yes, it's my new name, as Ron said. I should order food from that place one more time and see if, you know, third time's the charm, the trifecta, the turkey. Will I get it? Who knows? <clears throat> anyway. We shall see you Friday morning, most likely. If I see you before then, you won't be surprised to us both. Till next time. <laughs>